Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you guys a story about King Gallen and his Gallen Garden. This story is going to help us remember how many quarts, cups, and pints are inside of a gallon. So let's go ahead and get started with our story. Once upon a time in a land far, far away lived a man named King Gallen. King Gallen loved gardens very, very much. So he decided to make a garden dedicated to himself. He was a little bit selfish and he decided to make the garden in the shape of a giant G for Gallen. So King Gallen was admiring his beautiful, beautiful garden when all of a sudden his wife, which he loves very much, walked up to him and said, darling, what are you doing? And he said, well, queen, I'm admiring my giant G garden. I made it for myself in the shape of a G, which stands for Gallen, because I am King Gallen. Well, the queen, knowing that her husband was a bit of a selfish man, demanded that he also make a garden for her. But she wanted her garden to be even more beautiful and spectacular than the G garden that the king had already built. So the king, loving his wife very much, decided to make his queen not one, not two, not three, but four gardens in the shape of a Q for queen. So he had his men get to work building these gardens in the shape of a Q for his queen. Inside of his G, he made four gardens in the shape of Qs. One, two, three, four for his queen. Now, the princess was noticing all of the construction going on outside of her tower window, and she went to her father, the king, and said, Father, what have you done? Where is my garden? And the queen, and the king looked at their beautiful daughter, who they loved very, very, very much, and said, for you, princess, we will build you not one, not two, not three, not four, but eight gardens, because you are our princess, and you will be in line to take over the throne next. So, inside of the gallon garden, inside of the queen's gardens, they decided to make two gardens inside of each queen garden for the princess. So they got to work right away. And the princess was so happy that they built her these gardens. So in the garden, we have a giant G for King Gallon. We have four queen gardens for the queen and then inside of each queen garden we have two keys for our princess we have princess and princess 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 now the king was admiring all the beautiful handiwork his kingdom had done for him they built these beautiful gardens for him when all of a sudden he felt something jump onto his lap and it let out a soft Meow. And he looked down at the royal cat and he let out a loud gasp. <gasps> How could I have forgotten to honor the cat? So the king quickly gathered his men and said, all right, I need you to go ahead and also build some gardens for our cat. And they said, dear king, where will we put these gardens? We already are filled up all of our space. And he said, very carefully, Inside of each princess garden, I want you to build the cat two tiny gardens that are just tiny and big enough for the cat to enjoy. So inside of each of the princess gardens, the king's men built two cat gardens inside of each one. Okay, so finally, the king, the queen, the princess, and the cat all went and enjoyed their brand new gardens and lived happily ever after. The reason why I tell you this story is because this is actually going to help us remember how many quarts are in a gallon, how many pints are in a quart, and how many cups are in a pint. 
So if you look very carefully, I have one gallon. And inside of that, I have one, two, three, four quarts. Inside of each quart, inside of each Q, I have one, two peas, two pints. And inside of each pint, I have two cat gardens, which stand for C. So I have two cups. 